we might be in a better position here in Arizona to avoid another COVID crisis. And it has a lot to do with our mild winter weather. Jason Berry joining us live tonight from a park in Phoenix to explain, Jason. Well, the one thing we all know about the coronavirus is there's less risk of you getting sick when you go outside. So it makes perfect sense over the next six months when the weather is a lot nicer that we'll spend more time outdoors, which will make all of us a little safer. It's the time of year we all look forward to when we make our family and friends jealous across the country. But there's now another reason to embrace our warm weather. Arizona may be in better position than other states to avoid a catastrophic rise in COVID-19 cases. As you see these cases spike. Valley physician Paul Lynch was on the front lines of the COVID crisis when the pandemic started. He says Arizonans still need to take precautions and take the virus seriously, but we do catch a break during the next six months. Here in Arizona, I would just say that we are mitigated a little bit. If people really want to gather for the holidays, we can do it outside here. We can socially distance. We can I told my mom, I'm okay seeing you. If you come over, stay outside, wear a mask, and stay six feet away. And so I think in Arizona, because of our weather, it gives us options that they don't have when it's a blizzard in Buffalo, New York. According to Lynch, as the weather gets colder in the Midwest and East Coast, more people will be forced inside, where there's a greater risk of spreading COVID-19. That doesn't mean Arizona can let its guard down. Arizona's Department of Health Services just reported 1,040 new COVID cases Tuesday, and the number of hospitalizations from suspected COVID-19 patients is up more than 32 percent since October 1st. Oh, for sure it's a trend. Will Humble is executive director of Arizona's Public Health Association. Humble tells us there are a number of reasons our COVID numbers are trending in the wrong direction. Everything from students back in school, not enough people wearing masks, to a lack of enforcement of CDC guidelines at bars and restaurants. Humble is hoping our current situation convinces elected officials to step in and take the necessary steps to prevent a crisis like the one we had this summer. It's like uh, your check engine light has been on for a couple of weeks and you're going on a long trip. Do you blow it off or do you figure out what's wrong and make some corrections? It's not to what I would say alarming yet, but it is enough, in my opinion, uh, that if you were an elected official making decisions, this would be a great time to do a couple of interventions. Some of the possible suggestions to step in and slow the spread of COVID-19 in Arizona. One is a possible statewide mandate on masks. Another, more of a crackdown on bars and restaurants who are not following CDC guidelines. In Phoenix, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.